bust them, you know, a one month. Oh, please. So, yeah, we're just going to roll it all into a thing. Yeah, me neither. I'm making up most of this. <laughs> I'd like to call the West Lake City Council meeting to order June 26, 2023 at 5.30 p.m. I'd ask that you please silence all electronic devices. And if you're desiring to speak on any item uh, on the agenda, you can sign and bring it up here uh, and we'll speak at the appropriate agenda time. Uh, the invocation by Ms. Peterson and the pledge Mr. Rougeau, please stand. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you tonight, Lord. We pray for your blessings upon each one that's standing with your representatives here tonight, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you lead, guide, and direct us to do your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Please remain standing. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Ms. Peterson? Here. Mr. Cryer? Here. Mr. Rujo? Here. Mr. Harrison? Mr. Brown? Here. We have a quorum. We have a quorum. Hey, uh, and citizens and audience, I'd like to welcome one of our Westlake City uh, policemen, Scooter Lewis. Uh, Scooter's uh, fighting cancer. We have a little fundraiser for him down there. At Miller, so Scooter, keep up the good fight, baby. We, we won't keep you around. Also, we've lost two great people from our community here in the last day or so. Jerry Pudge Roy passed away, <clears throat> and also uh, Freddie Harrison's dad passed away. That's why Freddie's not here tonight. His dad passed away. So, with that being said, consent calendar. Approval of minutes taken from the regular meeting held on May 15, 2023. I have a motion by Ms. Peterson on the second. I have a second by Mr. Brown. Any discussion? Any objection? Hearing none, that motion carries. Uh, <coughs> under B, I'll let you wait. No, B is a resolution authorizing uh, how many Miller Mayor and City of Westlake, Louisiana to give calls to be published in Lake Charles American Press, the official journal of the City of Westlake for three consecutive days and notice to bidders for the chemicals to be used in the water and wastewater departments to be opened at City Hall. Do it. Okay, but I gotta read it. I don't have to? Not consent. Okay, so on consent I don't have to read that item. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. I'm just learning a little bit more right here. So we can move forward. After consent items are passed, that motion second form passed, we can move forward. We had some bids. Uh, we need a motion and second to approve or disapprove uh, awarding uh, resolution 3658 awarding installation of drainage pipe for the golf course to McManus Construction. Bids were opened on uh, Thursday, June 15, 2023 at 10 a.m. And they were the little bidder of $368,690. I have a motion by Mr. Rujo. I need a second. Second by Mr. Cryer. Any discussion on that bid item? Hearing none, that motion carries. Now under discussion and action items. Item A, we need a motion and second to approve or disapprove adopting ordinance number 1021, ordinance amending section 12-5005 through 12-025. That's removal of dangerous structures, condemnation of buildings and structures for the code of ordinances. I, have, I need a motion on that. I don't got a motion by Mr. Brown, a second by Mr. Carr. Any discussion on this? Just to update y'all one more time, this is getting our ordinances in line with what the parishes are so we can get blighted houses thrown in quicker. Any objection? Hearing none, that motion carries. Item B. Any motion and second to approve or disapprove adopting ordinance 1027 an ordinance authorizing how we know Mayor City Westlake to execute a cash sale transferring certain properties within the corporation limits of the city of Westlake, Louisiana, uh, to the United States Postal Service for consideration $310,000. I need a motion. I have a motion. Let's see, let me clear that one more time. Give me another motion. Motion by Ms. Peterson, second by Mr. Ruggio. Discussion on this item? 
basically were selling the post office. When we built it for them in 1997, 98, there was a, a contract clause in there that we could, uh, they could buy it from us. So we were selling the post office and they're gonna take it up on their own. Any other discussion? Any objection on this item? Hearing none, that motion carries. C, I need a motion to second approval, just approve of the ordinance 1022, or ordinance amending section 2402, amending the 2022-23 budget for the city of Westlake. I need a motion on this item, item C. Got a motion on Mr. Brown, a second. Or to approve of Mr. Peterson, I'll say about Mr. Peterson. Any discussion? Any objection? Hearing one out of C carries. Out of D, I need a motion and a second to approve or disapprove adopting ordinance number 1023, or ordinance amending section 204002, adopting the 2023 24 budget for the city of Westland. I need a motion on adopting the budget. I have a motion by Mr. Cryer, a second by Ms. Peterson. Discussion on this item. Any objection? Hearing none, this item carries. How to be a motion to second approve or disapprove hiring Carmen Green as a full time police officer dispatcher upon the recommendation of Chief Chris Wilmot. She's replacing Stephanie Gilbert. I need a motion on how to be. A motion by Mr. Brown, a second by Mr. Ruggio to approve. To approve. Any discussion? Any objection? Hearing none, they carry. Item F, a motion and a second to approve or disapprove resolution 3661, a resolution accepting Fairhaven subdivision, a subdivision located in section 15, township nine south, range nine west of Calcasieu Parish. I need a motion to approve or disapprove. Motion by Ms. Peterson to approve. Second by Mr. Cryer. Any discussion? Any objection? Hearing none, that motion carries. Out of G, I need a motion and a second to approve or disapprove resolutions 3662, a resolution approving and adopting the 2023-24 millage rates for the city of Wrestler. I need a motion on the millage rates. There's no change in those. Ms. Peterson? Okay. Second by Mr. Cryer to approve. Any discussion? Any objection? You're going that motion. Item H, I need a motion and a second to approve or, or approve or disapprove resolution 3656, a resolution authorizing Alan Miller, Mayor of the City of Westlake, to enter a cooperative endeavor agreement with the City of Sulphur for funding compensation for the marshals, marshal personnel executed there in all documents. <coughs> I need a motion by Ms. Peterson, I need a second. To approve, I need a second. Uh, Mr. Cryer, I have a motion and a second, and I have uh, votes to approve. Oh, I need a very electronic vote on this one, or we can do a roll call vote. Okay, I have a motion by, uh, and a second by Mr. Carr. I have a motion by Mr. Peterson to approve, motion by Second. Second by Mr. Cryer. Mr. Uh, I got a second by Mr. Cryer. Motion to approve. I'm going over the votes because I have different votes oh, here. Gotcha. It's not a unanimous vote. Okay. I have uh, a no vote against Mr. Rujo and against Mr. Brown. So it's a 2 2 tie. That puts it to a mayor. I break this. Is that the first time we've done this? With y'all, yes. So my vote is to approve. Okay. So. Yay, nays were Rujo and Brown, yays were Peterson, and Cryer, and tie, breaker, yay. Okay. Motion carries. Updates, uh, let's see. I'm gonna need a motion in a second to uh, discuss the updates. I got a motion by Mr. Rizzo and second by Mr. Myers. <coughs> All right. Engineering updates, Mr. Myers. 
Yes, Mayor. Uh, first project is Garfield drainage improvements. Uh, it's in the design phase again, so we're currently working on it. Skipping down to sewer equalization system. We are now uh, revising the plans to respond to Louisiana Department of Health comments. Going on to the Jones Street water plant. Uh, that's where the rate study is being conducted by uh, Louisiana Rural Water. That hasn't been completed. As soon as that's completed, then they will. Uh, well, I, I know most of I have to comply with the uh, rate study, but I can assure you, your rates are above and beyond most most cities of this size. So I, I would say, from my perspective, <coughs> and I know court my water bill. Uh, <coughs> I think the water bill uh, water is high enough. We'll see. But I, as soon as that's completed, then then we can proceed with uh, that project that built that second drop storage tank uh, on Shady Lane. Next project is the Ponderosa, Ponderosa Parkway. That's the project that's currently being reviewed by the Metropolitan Planning Commission. And as soon as that's completed, it will be coming back to the council. The uh, Westlake uh, next project is the drainage project that uh, you just awarded tonight uh, to McManus Construction. Street pavement market improvements, and this is a project that's being bid out by the parish. And uh, as I understand, they're going to pick up the tenant, which is good news for us. And then the next project is the Gilbert Street multi use path that is to facilitate uh, the uh, bicycles, the handicap. Ten foot wide bicycle or a path from uh, on Gilbert Street from it's going to go all the way from uh, make, see, uh, Mulberry to uh, Louisiana Way. Quite a project. Uh, the total construction. I think they're going to uh, stage going to come up with five hundred thousand. And Jerry's got a way already figured out. I guess for the max. I'm, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming he does. Anyway, that's the current status of that. That's in the process of being, uh, the survey is being completed as we speak. Uh, miscellaneous I-10 bridge included, so we don't, uh, we're just waiting on uh, current government status. And hopefully they can come up with the, the means that it takes without a toll. And that's the intent of the current legislature. That's all I have, Mayor. Thank you. Any questions for Mr. Mark? Uh, our city architects are here tonight, so we're going to move on through that. <coughs> under minors, uh, illegal to blow grass clippings into the street. Uh, like to get them blown back to the yard, and also our trash cans need to be picked up and removed from the street within 24 hours. If we get picked up on Friday, our new code enforcement guy is usually given until Monday to get it up, and then they are being tagged, just so you know. I need a motion and a second to approve the update. We got a motion by Ms. Peterson to approve. And a second by Mr. Brown. Any discussion? Any objection? We we'll approve the updates. We motion second to uh, approve the departmental hearings. I need a motion on that. I need a motion on Mr. Rujo. A second by Mr. Carr. Uh, any discussion? Any objection? Hearing none. That carries. One of the updates. Uh, Chief of Police Chris Wilbur. Uh, thank you, Mayor and Council. Uh, before y'all and y'all's packing, y'all have our report. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. That'll be my report back. <coughs> any questions for the chief? Fire chief, Chief Jonathan Day. <coughs> hey, everybody. Just a couple quick things here. Uh, you know, we spent the month of June getting ready for hurricane season, uh, visiting with all our local fire departments, uh, mainly here on the west side. Uh, to make sure everything's good in case that happens. Um, we've got an agility course for July 8th. We're still hiring. If y'all know anybody, tell them to show up on July 8th for the agility course. Our academy will start on August 1st. And uh, we're working on a couple of projects that we really can't say too much about yet, but we've got some big things coming down the pipe. So hopefully by uh, next month's meeting, we'll be able to give y'all a full report and show y'all some of the cool things we're working on. Thank you. 
now our public works director, Mr. Damon Horst. <clears throat> so we had five safety meetings were held last month. 179 work orders were submitted and completed. Other work was retained. We handled citizens' complaints and requests. Um, the gas department, there were 129 gas deposits received during the month, 23 disconnects. Uh, 406 dollars were called, received during the month. The rest of the work was routine. Water department for the month, we uh, water usage was 57,825,889 gallons. There were 119 deposits and 34 disconnects. I want to thank the council and the mayor for approving the budget. Appreciate it. Uh, this is a new report. First time we're going to have this. This is going to be from our coded, recently hired code enforcement officer, Mr. Curtis Lyons. Let me tell you a real quick about him. He's a ex detective uh, from Westlake City Police, and, and we got him. Former. Former. Yes. Former. Yeah. <laughs> and he used to be a firefighter. Used to. And he yeah. used to be a firefighter. Jack of all trades. <laughs> Mayor Council, <clears throat> this reports for the last six business days of May. There was a total of 54 locations checked. Various reasons could have been grass, trash cans, junk vehicles, things of that nature. All of them were tagged for these different locations reasons we have seen things being done in the photos that y'all received the trailer that was located in the 800 block of Shady Lane has since been torn down by the property owner we didn't have to do anything with that so we're seeing progress it's slow but we're definitely seeing it also I want to mention to the the building next to uh, Miles Tires, they tore it down on the west side, and the church on the uh, other side, on the east side, they come in and said they're going to tear it down. So, just by him going out and tagging property, we've already uh, we've already got a lot of people to tear some things down. We are going to be working on these blighted houses. I can tell you that uh, he's been well worth his uh, his weight in gold and doing what he's doing. And uh, one of our hot spots is over off of uh, Garden Drive by the high school. Which he's, he's right on top of the end, get some of those things cleaned up. I'm very proud of the job he's doing. Thank you, Curtis. Any questions, uh, Mr. Brown? I did see that on guard, the guy did move the trailer to not throw it out. Yeah, the trailer's gone, the blue van's gone. We're waiting on to clean up some more, but we're making progress. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, hold on, uh, Mr. Pryor. How are the seats? Pretty good? Yeah, pretty much. You know, I get a little bit of flack here and there, but for the most part, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Right? Curtis, one other thing. Uh, you do have a city cell phone. That number is public. Yes, sir. Would you like to give that number to the audience and the people that they would want it? 337-515-6868. Y'all can give me 24 hours a day. Oh, okay. Put that in there. <laughs> He's working here four days a week. <laughs> yeah. Those four days. Yeah. So for now, you're going to see good things coming. I can see it happening. We're getting this city uh, back on track, get cleaned up. So I'm excited about that. <coughs> Our director of golf, Jerry Pocket, is next. <laughs> Golf rounds continue to be strong, both in terms of number of rounds played as well as revenue. Uh, the move we made over the winter is working out excellent for us. Upcoming events, we have uh, clinics, uh, weekly clinics. Good time to get your game in shape prior to the, uh, to the tournaments that are coming up this fall. Monday, juniors, uh, clinics at 5.30. Tuesday, women's. Wednesday, men, all at 5.30. Thursday night, scramble. Uh, Again, a weekly event through the fall. 5 p.m. sign up, 5.30 uh, teams get picked, or 5.20 teams get picked, 5.30 tee off. Junior camp two, July 10th to 13th. There's still a few spots open. Uh, call quick to reserve a spot if you need it. Uh, junior city championship scheduled for July 29th to 30th. 
Senior City Championship August 26th and 27th. Women's City Championship also August 26th, 27th. And the Westlake JD Bank City Championship September 8th, 10th. Tournament dates for September and October are filling up fast. Uh, call Jevin at the golf shop if you have a group that needs a date. And uh, that's my report. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Mr. Clark. Any questions about the council? Uh, Jerry Miller, our financial director. You know, I have those monthly financials in front of you. I'd be glad to answer any questions now or at any time. Appreciate y'all um, reviewing the budget and approving that as well. Any questions, Mr. Miller? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, the next item, of, let's see. Do we need to go ahead and get a motion and second one? No, I need you to read that entire paragraph. I will, but I'm going to give comments first. Okay. Uh, item B is mayor's comments and reports. Basically, uh, I just want to kind of remind the people that bills are due at Westlake City Hall on the 17th. <coughs> 10 days after the 17th, 27th, we have a holiday this time, so it's gonna be the 28th, the disconnects go out. Once the disconnects, it's kind of like a game of football or baseball, the ninth innings at the end when the score's over or, or, or football time when it runs out. When the disconnects, 10 days after you hadn't paid, and uh, at that point in time, when it leaves our office right here and goes to public works, it doesn't matter if they catch if you catch them out there and they uh, oh wait wait don't turn it off I'll turn it off I'm, I'm going to go take care of that the time has ran out when it leaves when that cutoff lift leaves this office it's in public works hands there will be a reconnect fee that is by ordinance that's not a how rule that's a rule of this city so I wanted to kind of explain that because a lot of people think they can stop the guy and come up here and pay. No, once it leaves this office, the game is over, the time is up, and, and you have to uh, pay your utility bills. We are strict about paying utility bills. We're, we're not up here to uh, finance utility bills or help people uh, get to where they can pay them. The due date's the 17th, 10 days after that. I hate to be harsh, but we have to, and being good stewards of the city's money, make sure that the, uh, the cutoffs or the cutoffs, and then there will be a $50 reconnect fee. So please pay your bills on time and get to those. That will help us hold out. Also, uh, two things that I want to say that have happened in the first six months, uh, not only with our code enforcement, that's one, but the ladies are answering the phone up here, and I hope the people really like that opportunity that when somebody calls, you're not getting an answer machine, you're getting a live body, and I'm excited about that. We'll be making some more changes as it comes. Things are moving in a very positive direction. Uh, on uh, June 28th, we're gonna make it Pudge Roy's day. His funeral is gonna be uh, at St. John Bosco with visitation starting at nine o'clock with a mass at 11, and then there will be a celebration of life party at Freedom Hall. That's the way Pudge wanted it. He set it up like that, Jeremy and I have been right there with him. Uh, he wants people to come to Freedom Hall, and he wants to be a, a good spirited celebration of life where you tell Pudge stories and have a good time. Pudge was a fireman and policeman and just one of the greatest guys you ever want to meet. So, now one other thing, I had scheduled surgery for tomorrow, but uh, with the funeral being Wednesday, my scheduled surgery of me having a tendon in my right hamstring to be repaired is gonna be on July 7th. So I'll be out for a few days, but I'll be back as soon as I can on crutches, walk or whatever to be here. And uh, King Brown will do an excellent job for me. <laughs> All right, let me read this last public notice. The Westlake Opportunity Zone District will hold a public hearing on Monday, July 17, 2023 at 5.30 p.m. in the City Council Chambers at Westlake City Hall. We invite interested persons to attend the hearing at 1001 Mulberry Street in Westlake, Louisiana. The board will discuss levying and collecting a 2% sales tax, use tax upon sales at retail the use, the lease, or the consumption of tangible personal property or sales of services in the district and a 2% of the hotel occupancy tax within the boundaries of this Westlake Opportunity District commencing October 1st, 2023. That's the EDD district that we're looking at putting in place for the future development of the downtown area. Is there any discussion on that? I don't guess there needs to be. <coughs> 
It only affects that area of the EDB yeah. district, nobody else inside inside the city. But it's a it's a way that we can maybe help investors come in and invest in our downtown. So uh, this is something that a lot of communities do in the city of West Lake Lincoln that I need a motion and a second to receive the reports and hearing this got a motion by Mr. Rujo, second by Mr. Cryer. Any discussion? Any objection? Hearing one our motion carries. I need a motion and a second to adjourn. And a motion by Mr. Brown, <coughs> second by Ms. Peterson. And discussion We <coughs> stand adjourned. Go Tigers. <laughs> I'll talk about it. Don't miss next month. Are you going to call you? Oh, yeah. We'll have pictures of PowerPoints, announcements. Is that something that you're willing to mail to me? Yeah. Yeah. Just give me information. I'll talk to you. I like it. That works. Thank you very much. Are you trying to run this street, Tom? Yes. I'm doing a thing. I got a stand. Right. Right, man. I'm trying to put time on the brain. This is a view. Yeah.